Welcome to Saturday Morning Tutorials! Professor Unicorn? Unicorn Man is gone. Oh, hey. He's out for evil walk with evil dog and evil poop. Okay. You'll be back soon. I need to show you something. <clears throat> it is your friend. Chris? Bro, is that you? <laughs> Adrian, what's up, bro? I haven't seen you like a million years. It really does feel like a million years, man. I miss you too. No, like literally a million years. When the professor threw me through the wormhole, I ended up on Earth a million years ago. Time cop showed up. He told me I had to survive for a million years or I threw off the space-time equilibrium. Yeah, that was radical. Anyway, I trained in every combat sport known to man. I ended up meeting up with some bodacious monks. Bro, they taught me the fifth awakening. What is this? Is this power weapon? No, bro. It's a state of knowing. Well, like knowing what? I like knowing stuff. Can you tell me? Is it a secret? Listen, what I know is that we can't defeat the professor with force. He must defeat himself. Yeah. Oh, I also learned how to levitate. <laughs> Check this out. That was pretty awesome, right, my dudes? Adrian, what have you been up to, man? Found a spaceship. For reals? I'm wearing this shirt for two months. Dude, righteous! <laughs> the professor has arrived. I think I will sit this one out. You do you, brother. Alright my dudes, levitation effects are totally awesome. So awesome. We've been talking about different ways to create our own, and Adrian, dude, you came up with this super rad idea. Gotta admit, I was a little bit skeptical, but he totally nailed it. I officially recognize the error in my, I'm gonna switch back to normal mm -hmm. voice. <laughs> I officially recognize the error in my judgment, and I will wear the I was wrong hat for an entire week. I mean, at least the hat looks good on you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this effect is pretty great because <clears throat> it's really not that hard to pull off. But once it's done, it's pretty tough to figure out how it was done if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, let's go ahead and pause here. Can you guess how this was done? Leave a comment below with your guess. We'll give you a hint. We didn't use a rope. Okay, go ahead and unpause. Here's how we did it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. That's my here's how we did it sound. I hated it. Chris, don't even worry, dude. I think you look great. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I stopped caring about how I look when I realized that my look is just what the stars wanted me to look like. You know what I'm saying, bro? No, dude, I'll get <laughs> I don't get it. Know what I'm saying, I <laughs> We shot this in three separate passes. The first is Chris standing up on something tall to get him up in the air. Alternatively, we could have just shot him on a green screen, but this saves us on compositing a little bit, and it guarantees that our perspective and lighting is going to be perfect. We also hit him with a leaf blower, but this isn't actually necessary. We just wanted it to look cool. The effect is actually easier if you don't do this, but we went for it. We also tucked his, not we, he did it himself. He tucked his own robe and cape into the back of his pants so it's not flailing around in the like an idiot. In the next shot, I'm using my insanely strong muscles to hoist myself up into the air in front of a green screen. If you want super strong muscles, sign up for Production Crate Pro membership today. <laughs> This is shot in the same location, so the lighting matches up perfectly. 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 My shirt is tucked in for this shot to avoid doubling up on shirts in the <laughs> next step. It'll make sense soon, just hold on. I'm using some uh, step stool ladders to support myself, but alternatively, you can use some friends or, you know, whatever else. If you do this, just make sure whatever you use is very stable. Unlike the ground we stand on, we're in California. Earthquakes happen literally every two hours here. Fires too. The third and final pass is just the cloak billowing in the wind. This was achieved by just holding it in front of the green screen in the same location as everything else and hitting it with that leaf blower. If you don't have a cloak or a cape, skip this step. 
Oh, we also uh, got a clean plate, so that is four passes by my count. Okay, so it's just four. Oh wait, and we have a separate one of some dudes in the foreground, so that's, that's five, five passes. Mm. All right, let's treat the legs first. We're gonna want to stabilize them, and this is easily achieved by sending them to Mocha AE. Draw a spline around your actor's belt line. We can uncheck perspective and shear under the motion tab. We actually don't want scale either, but in Mocha you can't track rotation without scale, so we will leave it for now and track away. Track away, track away. Is that a song? When that's finished, select export tracking data and select after effects transform data from that drop down menu. Check the invert checkbox as well and copy it to your clipboard. <laughs> Back in After Effects, make a brand new shiny knoll and making sure you're on the first frame and paste the data. Now hit U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes and click the stopwatch next to scale to remove those. We don't want them. We don't need them. Get out of your keyframes. Go on. Get. All right, come back. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me that way, keyframes. Now nah, get out of here. Kill them. Adrian, you do it. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Delete? No. <laughs> what have you done? Now we're free to simply key out those legs and move on with our lives. Hopefully you won't need to do any roto, but we did breach the screen a little bit, so we just masked those parts off. Not a big deal. I hate rotoscoping. Next, let's get to work on our torso clip. You don't have to fully roto this one out unless you're putting something behind it, just like a cape or wings or something like that. We just let one big loose and feathered mask do most of the work for us. We do need to mask out the bottom of the shirt though, and this needs to be more precise. To make it easier, let's send this clip to Mocha as well and track the belt line exactly like we did before, except this time, don't click that invert button. That one, yep, that one right there. If you do click the invert button, just click it again. Bring that data back into After Effects and paste it onto a null and get rid of that scale. See ya. Who needs ya? <laughs> you know the drill, guys. Make a new solid and parent it to the null. Then we'll draw our mask onto this solid. If you don't have any wind in your shot, you might not even need to animate this mask, but we do, so we do. Go ahead and put that large feathered mask onto this solid as well and use it as an alpha mat for your footage. Now you can bring in the legs that we stabilized and keyed from before. Drop them under your torso layer and parent them to the track. Bam! 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 You're basically done. Oh wait, we'll put the put the clean plate in there and uh, bam! 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 Yeah, you're done. Basically done. Bam. In our case, we do have those tails of the cloak that we want to add into the shot as well. So let's uh, let's do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. We need to key out the clip and there's some rotor to do as well. So we just did it, whatever. The cape helps connect the upper and lower body together and really helps show that Chris isn't sitting or leaning against anything. Yeah. Bring this into your main cop and drop it behind everything. In our case, we didn't do a full roto on my top half. We were able to get away with just applying an extract effect since I am wearing mostly black and the background is lightly colored. Duplicate the track null and parent the cape to it. Go ahead and pre-compose the cape with the new null and open that pre-comp right up. And within that pre-comp, select both layers and pre-comp them one mogian. Okay. Now we have a flat layer within that pre-comp with no effects or animation or anything on it. The reason we're doing this is because we're gonna add a shadow to it. Go back into the main comp and copy the legs layer and the torso and the null they're parented to. In our cape comp, paste them in and pre-comp them so now we have two flat layers. On the top layer, we'll add a fill to make it black and a fast box blur to blur it out real good. Real good. Real, real good. Also, a displacement map using the cape as the displacement layer. The displacement effect is the reason that we wanted both of these things to be in pre-comps. The displacement will make it so the shadow follows the folds of the cape. Yeah, give it a little, uh, little depth, a little uh, 3D goodness. Nice. Yeah. Now we hit the putts and lower the opacity until it almost looks natural. You can leave it a bit dark because the darkest parts are going to be covered up in the composite. Chris, uh, remind me what the putts is again. Putts is preserve <laughs> underlying transparency switch. Thanks, dog. Okay. For some extra interaction, we added a clip called Mist on Ground 2 Loopable. That's from Footage Crate. There's a tint effect on it, and the white value is mapped to a color which was stolen from somewhere else in the scene. Yoink. We also have the final detail of these out of focus dudes in the foreground. We lucked out by not having any overlap to deal with, so we just loosely masked around them and feathered that mask. Although we did have this green screen backup just in case. Always keep your bases covered. We don't always, but we try. <laughs> <laughs> we do our best. The other shots were all done practically. Whoa. Wow. 
The close-up of Chris's feet were another example of Chris using his unhuman strength to his advantage <laughs> and just lifting himself up. We even got the dummy Leighton Creighton in for a shot. Bro, what have you done to Leighton Creighton? He's totally strung out right now. Oh, well, dude, pull up. How is that Chris? If Chris is up there, bro. Action. Just goes to show that even if you're a dummy, you can still be in a shot. Visual and practical effects are always better together. That's right, they're like salt and cookies. Oh, you think I'm wrong? You don't bake. Salt helps. Not too much though, obviously. We're getting off topic here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The next tutorial is gonna be strange. What do you think of that teaser, Adrian? It's fine. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I think this went well. I'm curious to know what people guessed. I think most people are think gonna think I was like sitting on something with a green screen, like how we did the uh, wormhole effect. Mm -hmm. That's probably what I would have guessed. Like, subscribe, stay hydrated, make it awesome. Um, Call your mom. Check your shoes for scorpions. Check your shoes for scorpions. You never know. What are you doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, watching old production crate videos. Oh man, the old ones, kind of garbage. Yeah. No offense, I know most of them are yours, but <laughs> it's not very good. All right, well that's that's enough from us. You see Venom yet? Nope. Yeah, it's not really worth it.